Hey, my name is Richard, Richard Ringer. I'm the European champion in the Marathon race for Munich, the European Games. And today, on a nice cloudy, rainy weather, I do a small workout. And yeah, looking forward to I go again a little bit on the track and to show you how, how I run on the workout. Yeah, after Munich, I take a long period of rest, so I didn't run in total for four weeks, but nevertheless, I went out with the bike a lot and I went for swimming and also a bit cross training, so just to keep my body fit uh, with just endurance is the important thing it is not that you have to run always that's also the one thing uh, yeah for me very important not all we're always running um, so just uh, move the body more for more hours than the other athletes <laughs> And yeah, after four weeks, we yeah we slightly uh, yeah start with the run, start with the with the normal training. Um, so now I'm some months in training, but I keep it very quiet. So all the workouts were like yeah like felt felt like youth training, uh, but. Um, I think it's good for the mental and also for the body fitness to yeah to get in, in, in the right shape in time when it counts and not unnecessary like in the winter period because the main goal is the Hamburg Marathon in April 2023 so there I will be qualify for the Olympics and now you know what it means to qualify for the Olympics there are new qualification times you have to, to run so it's not easy anymore it's faster than my PB it's a 208 10 so with my PP of a 28 49 I have to beat it by 40 seconds but yeah, the plan is to go uh, like a 64 and halfway and then a slightly increase. So I hope that it will be no problem. But of course, I have to do a lot of training the next months. And I'm looking forward to do special uh, training camps with my training group in Belgium. Um, we are not moving to Africa or some high altitude place. Um, outside, yeah, we're going to Leuven. It's a city in Belgium, near Brussels. There's a high altitude house. And so every room can be separately moved to, yeah, to a high altitude. And also the kitchen and the living room is on that elevation and yeah uh. yeah my next race is the, on New Year's Eve um, in three or eight kilometer road race it's really funny they are the best uh, German athletes on the start line also my training partner Isaac Himeli and yeah, I just try to have fun and maybe win the race. That's a good idea. So yeah, nothing special. There's no half marathon, no marathon race now. Um, I told you before, in April it counts. Also in February, I will qualify for the world uh, 
half marathon in Riga in Lettland. So that's the important goal for this year. And yeah, looking forward for the next step, also for the next training camp with the group that I get in shape before I reach my goals. And yeah, that's that's the most important after Hamburg. We will see uh, what time I reach and what I have to do <laughs> with the next step. Yeah, today is a normal marathon pace workout. It's like 10 times 1K in around 3 or 5 to 3 minutes pace with 30 seconds till 1 minute rest. So just how I feel, it should be easy. It's just a part of the other workouts. The last uh, weeks before, uh, because in the last 10 days, there were every second day was a small workout, so it was not a huge one, but always a little bit. For example, I did four times 3K in easy 9.30, yeah, but with 1.5 watt tap. And then two days later I did, for example, 10 times 200 in 28 seconds. So it's nothing you destroy your body, but it's just a good build up and always small steps to move forward, yeah. That is important at the moment. Not have really big workouts. Yeah, for, for example, also, yeah, for sure for marathon races, uh, I don't need that high level now in winter because I will be in shape. I want to be in shape, uh, yes, in April and not now. And yeah, don't have to stress your body too much to reach your goals. On the day X it counts, it's, it's not important that I can run them 207 now. So 4K in easy 420 and it's all the closest I'm, I'm warm now for my workout. Now I'm doing some strides to just uh, warm up my muscles and my tendons that they're not feeling, yeah, too crazy when I start with uh, 20 kilometers per hour. Yeah, today I take the meter speed sky, the first version, um, because the bounce of the second version, the sky blast is a bit too much for the track, because the track uh, already gives you something back. And on the road, of course, it's, uh, yeah, it's very hard. Um, so therefore, I like more the, the old version. First one, easy one, a little bit slower, 307 pace. Third one was 303, so now we are in the range. What I wanted to do feels good. Uh, yeah, no one there on Christmas morning, of course. So I'm alone here, but it's uh, yeah, that's normal as a runner because you're often uh, completely alone in the stadium. Yeah, <clears throat> but you have luck with the with the conditions. Okay, it's slightly raining, but. I guess it's like 9 degrees, so 
much better than a week before with minus seven, so. One minute's rest and go. So the uh, fifth one was 301, so now we are in good uh, pace for the marathon and now I want just to check if everything is okay today um, if the lactat is fine or not um, and then I can handle it if I go faster or I stay this pace or slower the most important is that you clean it and yeah And there is no sweat inside the blood measurement and also no alcohol. I have the special tools that it's very easy and not painful. And then and here you can check in 15 seconds the other results. Yeah. 2.2 millimole it's a little bit low so of course I can go faster but I think I just stay the pace in a few minutes. See you! Number six, 259. So it was what I mentioned. My coach wrote it in the app in the train speed uh, between 305 to three minutes, but the maximum lactate from 3.5 and with 2.2 on the 301. I know I could go a little bit faster, but still, did it feel smooth? And yeah, I think it's, it's fine. It's special, like dead like that you can run the mark on so it's great between 258 and 302 now so I think it's today's workout I am very satisfied because at that period of time I'm really not in shape but uh, with three minutes pace and a lactate of 2.2 and my heartbeat is or was like 144 um, so for me it's a good indicator that I'm ready to go into the next steps so I think in one month I'm already in 
much better uh, shape and of course for months I have time now to prepare for the marathon and I guess uh, some months later I can do that same workout within 10 seconds faster with the same feeling so for today I'm really lucky and now I wish you a good new year uh, 23 and yeah just uh, go out run it doesn't matter if it's rain snow it's cold or warm just enjoy it